It's Monday, September 30th, 1968. Rollout day for the Boeing 747. We have more than 1,200 guests here, including some well-known public figures. And some very attractive ones. Stewardesses from the 26 airlines that will operate 747s. We also have thousands of Boeing people. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 26 months ago, as we stood amidst the forest up here at Everett and the decision was made to go forward with the 747 program, the magnitude of the task that we were faced with really looked formidable, at least they did to me. The fact that this great plane is rolling out on schedule in the very fine condition it's in is a tremendous testimonial to literally thousands of people and hundreds of companies throughout the world. And it's our intent today to pay tribute to that type of effort. Our hope and intention is to provide an airplane that will match and enhance the stature that the air transportation industry has acquired by reason of its growth and development, especially during the last several years. Without this extraordinary growth, the 747 airplane would not exist today. We felt that its economic advantages would help enable the airlines both foreign and domestic, to continue their growth in a sound and healthy manner. We have an airplane now, a remarkable one. Let us move forward to see it in service on the airlines. Let's see the airplane. The word is given, and the great factory doors slowly open. All of this is taking place on a site that, a little over two years ago, was a forest. And all of it today is on schedule. The size of the airplane really comes through to you when you scale it to the ground crew underneath. Here it is, the largest and the fastest of all commercial airplanes. Gross weight, 710,000 pounds. Length, 231 feet 4 inches. The 747 rolling out into the sunlight, an imposing and a beautiful product of aeronautical science. It'll fly 625 miles per hour, and it'll cruise up to 6,000 miles nonstop. One, two, three. After the christening, guests file through the airplane. They see very little of its future decor. Most of the interior is devoted to test activity and equipment. First flight and the beginning of the flight test program is expected to begin in December and to be completed with certification in 1969 using five 747 airplanes. <laughs> 